After 38 seasons as part of the Lady Vols program, Holly Warlick is out at the University of Tennessee as head women's basketball coach. This all comes after a loss to UCLA Saturday. In the first round of the NCAA tournament, it is only the Lady Vols second loss ever in the first round. Holly Warlick grew up in Knoxville, played for the Lady Vols. Her number was the first one ever retired in the rafters. Warlick spent 27 seasons on Coach Pat Summit's staff, and Coach Summit handed her whistle over to Holly starting in the 2012-2013 season. The decision to fire Coach Warlick rested with Athletics Director Philip Fulmer. He offered his reasons in a statement late this afternoon, saying in part, Holly has dedicated most of her adult life to the University of Tennessee and the Lady Vols program. She loves Tennessee, and Tennessee needs to always love her back. She was front and center as this program developed into the model for women's intercollegiate excellence. While it certainly stings to make this decision, I am charged with doing what I believe is best for this storied program. It's important to all of us that Lady Vol basketball maintains its status among the elite. With that, 10 News anchor Russell Biven joining us live now on campus with more. Russell. All right, Robin and John, certainly a tough day here at the University of Tennessee. You know, pretty incredible. You go back to 2012, Holly Warlick had a decision to make. Pat Summon announced she had early onset Alzheimer's, and then she urged Holly Warlick to take over as head coach. After a lot of thought, a lot of prayer, Holly Warlick said yes and really came out of the gates on fire. Did a tremendous job those first four years. She made it to the NCAA tournament all seven years, won the SEC championship three times, won over 71% of her games. But today she is no longer the head coach here at the University of Tennessee after that tough loss to UCLA in the first round of the tournament. She also continued to uh, achieve that incredible Pat Summit goal of graduating 100% of her players. It was not just what they did on the court, it was also important to her what they did off the court. A very brave of Coach Warlick to step up in just incredible uh, under the legendary shadow of Pat Summit to take over this program. But again, tough times right now as she is now out as the head coach of the Lady Vols. We will find out what's next for the program and what is next for Holly Warlick in the very near future. But obviously big news here today and coming on the eve of the University of Tennessee men's team taking on Purdue in the Sweet 16. So interesting times for sure here on the campus of the University of Tennessee. Robin and John. Interesting mm -hmm. times indeed. Wishing Holly all the best though. Russell, thank you very much. Now Warlick signed an extension to her coaching contract in August of 2018. It was to last through April of 2022. Based on that contract, she was to be paid about $690,000 each year, including base pay and supplemental pay. Now if Warlick was to be let go without cause, she would get a third of the pay she would make between now and April of 2022. That would be about a year's worth of salary. Hard to think of the Lady Vols without Holly Warlick. She has been a fixture there, as we talked about at the top of the broadcast. We're going to check in once again on campus with Shannon Smith, who has reaction this afternoon from students. Shannon. It's definitely varied, John. Students are still trying to figure out exactly what's going on at this point. The news has not spread to all of them that they are now going to be looking for a new head women's basketball coach. But I talked to a lot of students that a lot of them very knowledgeable on this topic, saying that, you know, they kind of did see this coming based on how the Lady Vols have been performing lately. Here, uh, what some of the students said. I believe it's something that kind of like was expected a little bit by the UT students. It's also a pattern that's like with UT that whenever something's like not going right, they apparently just kick somebody out, bring somebody new in. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, it makes sense just cause like, I've heard that like they've been doing terribly this season. That first student you heard from was here when they were going through the coaching search to replace Butch Jones for the football team. He said that really seemed to bring the university together because at the end of the day, this is a big sporting school. So he was thinking and a lot of students I talked to hoping that whoever they do choose to lead the Lady Vols going forward is kind of going to get students reinterested in that program here. Look more into the past of UT women's basketball and into the future as well. Send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Shannon, thank you very much. Reaction to the news on social media has been quick and it is still coming. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan has been monitoring what people have been saying online and let's talk about coach and her future, Cole. 
Robin and John, for many people, this is a bittersweet moment. They're sorry that Warlick is leaving, but they say it's for the best for the Lady Vols. Jason Swain says that she's a Vol for life, but that it was time. Kayla says it's a bittersweet moment for the Lady Vols, but she thinks it's the right choice. She says she hopes new co a new coach will get Tennessee back on track. Annette says Warlick is a Lady Vol for life and wishes her well. She says she's looking forward to the next chapter in Tennessee basketball. Jake says it's a sad end to Warlick's time at UT, but he says it's for the best. He says results matter, especially when you represent a program like the Lady Vols. Tracy says it was time, but Holly still deserves our respect. She says she was an important part of every season leading up to this point. And finally, Mauna says, you, thank you, Holly, for all that you've done for the university and for the state. She says, Godspeed and that the love from Vol Nation goes with you. You can keep the comments coming right now on our Facebook page. Robin and John. Cole Sullivan with just a taste of the reaction online today. And in a release today, Coach Philip Fulmer says the search for Warlick's replacement is already underway. 10 Sports reporter Luis Fernandez joins us live from Louisville, where the men's team is getting set to play in the Sweet 16. But uh, Fulmer saying, Lewis, that this is going to be a broad search for a new coach. Yeah, Robin and John, and I want to read you a quote that you guys mentioned at the beginning of the show from Philip Fulmer. It's important to all of us that Lady Vol basketball maintains its status among the elite. That's probably what you should expect come this coaching search. As of right now, assistant coach Dean Lockwood is going to be in charge of the program until the search is over. He spent 15 years on the staff, 20 years at Tennessee. Now, as to what could be next, because we're really in unprecedented territory for the Lady Vols. This is the first coaching search they've had since before Pat's summit. Uh, now, what to look for next, if we look at a report by Chattanooga, Chattanooga Times free press reporter Gene Henley, he says that Louisville, the spot that we're in right now, is preparing to lose head coach Jeff Walls to the Lady Vols. Now, Walls spent 12, has spent 12 seasons at Louisville. He made three Final Four appearances, as well as finishing as runner-up twice. But what's important to note here is Walls at the beginning of the day today disputed that claim. He said, I'm staying right here as of now. It would be inappropriate to discuss that job in that position with Holly Warlick still leading the Lady Vols as head coach. So since that, that press conference, since he spoke, uh, Lady Vol uh, head coach Holly Warlick has been let go. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next. But like I said, unprecedented territory really for the Lady Vols is they're looking for a head coach uh, in a coaching search for the first time in many decades. Robin and John. Yeah, no doubt. Lots of names at the top of the list. We'll talk more about that, Lewis, certainly live from Louisville. Thanks very much for that reporting online right now at WBIR.com. Archive footage of Holly Warlick's career at the University of Tennessee, how fans are reacting and more details about her contract. It's all online right now at WBIR.com.